Hey everybody, it's D. My dog is on the warpath right now, so I don't know how this is gonna go. We'll see. I'm gonna do a little deck unboxing, I guess. Eh, you know, I don't really do unboxing this channel, but I found this little deck. Um, I've been seeing it for a while. It's really old. It's not, this is a reprint, but it's like came out a long time ago, like 09. It's half price books, $4.99. The original price is really only like $8, $7 maybe, but I got it for a dollar off. So I paid $3.99. And it is uh, working with the four elements. The artist is Colin Hall. Now, I have, the reason I wanted to get it, oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to pet you. Okay, I'm going to pet you. I'll pet you. I will pet you. I will. But you can't bite my face. You can't bite my face. Nope. Or my arm. Nope. 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 Oh, well, they don't want to see you, get me getting attacked. Oh, God. Oh, well, stop. That hurts. Nope. Stop. Stop. Opal. I'm back. I survived. Not very many bite marks, so that's a good thing. All right, so let's get back to it. This little tiny deck, I went ahead and took the plastic off while I was, you know, trying to get the dog in our crate. Okay, so. I first heard of Colin Hall because he's an artist, but he's also does these things called aura graphs. Like he paints, he's a painter. And he's what's called, I don't remember, how does he say a psychic painter? Um, but he does do workshops and um, all kinds of seminars and things like that, like at local, wherever he goes around to like local um, places and towns and he does little demonstrations of his paintings. But he, I was drawn to his work because of the Art Nouveau style. He does Celtic art, Chinese art and Art Nouveau and other things like that. He paints a lot of rainbows. <laughs> And unicorns, but I love the orographs and I love the Art Nouveau style. Those are the two things that originally I was drawn to with his art. I have never ha been able to obviously see him in person or anything, so I can't, you know, validate his, um, for me anyway, like his psychic or mediumship abilities, but uh, his art is definitely meditative, that's for sure. Um, I do feel that. And so I feel like this deck would help me in that area. So I got it for, like I said, $3.99. Um, so that's an example of his work right there. I think there's 56, yeah, 56 cards with a booklet in here. So let's see what we get. So it's just like a little white book, except for it's long ways instead of it's going a horizontal booklet and it's English on one side and German on the other. I think if I'm remembering right. Yes, English and German It's really super small print. So old lady like me is going to have a hard time. The reason that this I'm drawn to his work is because of, like I said, the artist side of it, the color magic, the color associations in his work. Um, I do a lot of color mat working, so um, I love auras. So things like that are what have really drawn me to this. I will use this uh, deck a lot, I'm sure. All right, so here's the backs. Very cute. So the cards are, you know, they're okay. Let's go through some of these images. They're cut kind of rough. 
but you know it's interesting because they have little numbers in the corner w a e f so i'll have to see what that's about and i don't see that in here but anyway hmm, interesting okay so the first one says pan the cosmos Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. White Tara. Hmm. And what I like about it, it's obviously a photograph of his original work. And underneath where it says W2 right there, you can actually see where he, he had his original signature and the name of the painting. Love it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Sorry for the grainy photo, but nice. Neptune. Cards are a little on the thin side, Aphrodite. Do you see where it has the letters, the W's there and the other letters? I'll have to investigate that. Um, Blake Goddess. Element. Wow, that is really pretty. Morning spirits. Rainbow Falls. And I'm familiar with this one. I've seen this before. Like I said, I've seen a lot of his rainbow and unicorn work. Um, Broken Heart. Oh. Rose and wave. Oh, that's beautiful too. Moon spirit, Diana. So I feel like if you like angels, this would be a really good uh, accompaniment to a, another deck that you use, you know? Or this could be a great card for like a morning web of life. Um, oh, I can't read that one. Mermaid's Dream. Oh, that's interesting because there's two faces there. Like a female and a male energy there. You know, love music. World within worlds. I'm familiar with this one. I've seen this one. This is probably one of, of his popular prints that I've seen. Green Angel. And I think it's, oh, no, but it's not the one similar to the one that's on the back of this deck, but it's not exact, but yes. Ooh, that's beautiful. Rainbow Angel. Very pretty. My daughter will love this. Harmony. Passing cloud again, male and female. Super cute. Storm spirits again, the two faces and huh, kind of like a harpoon looking and roots from a tree and a rainbow and a and a, a lot going on in here. <laughs> it's a storm. <laughs> Lily Angel. Oh my gosh, is that a baby? Kind of. You know when kids do the bubble, right? If they're in class or walking down the hall, the teacher will be like, find your bubble. So they don't talk. That's what this reminds me of. The little angel with the little bubble in its mouth. Cute. Sleeping Beauty. Nice. Is it on a lotus of some kind? It is. Like a magnolia. And I love that the people aren't all white in this deck. And they're, you know, there's male and female energies in the stack. Butterfly fairy. There's fairies and unicorns and mermaids. Oh, and peacock fairies. 
Pets. Oh. Okay, so at first when I picked this up, even though I was familiar with the artist and am familiar with his artwork, I was still kind of on the fence about it, but I'm so not regretting it now. This is going to be a great addition to my energy work, my butterfly fairy queen, my color work. Color is a very important part of my practice. Music is my first love. That is beautiful. I wish that I had a better, maybe I should not record this now and wait until it's daytime and I have more natural light. Unicorn Kingdom. That's beautiful. That is a serious unicorn there. It's kind of got a little goatee. <laughs> there's kind of like a, there's a woman's face, almost like a serpent or a tentacle coming up. Yeah, I'm digging it. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, mm -hmm. Sunflower Queen. Oh, this is, this is so great. This is the one painting that I would purchase like an actual print of or an actual original piece of because yellow, this is the how I see my aura. Not as fantastic as this, but it's that color. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes. Love it. Sunflower King. Nice. Angel Gardens. Lily Fairy. Um, Bacchus. Ooh, she's beautiful. In a pose. Tree elf. Love it. Yes. Lily Garden Fairy. A little like the other fairy. The flowers almost look like fireworks, right? Look at the flowers. <laughs> Rose Spirits. Very nice. to get some of them apart because I don't know. I got it. I got it. Ivy Elf. I'm loving the Elf energy. Super cool. Meeting of the Fairies. Very nice. Daisy Fairy. Oh, look at that. Really nice. Rose Fairy. Cute. Crystal Garden. Fire Goddess. Mystic Red Angel. This looks like a warrior to me. I love the peacock feathers. But yeah, she's definitely got a warrior vibe, right? Nice. Power of prayer. Oh, that's pretty. I also love the use of lotuses in this um, deck as well. I love the hands. There's like a couple of sets of hands here. And there's like three fairies, right? Love it. Or angels. World mother. Fire angel. Kuan Yin. Ooh, that's nice. There's another face at the top. I don't know if you can see that right up here by my finger. There's a tiny little face. Interesting. Geometric angel. Nice. 
Red Angel. Ooh, love. Rebirth. Celtic Rose. Oh, that's beautiful. Getting to the end. Fire and Water. Again, there's two faces on this one. Very cute. <clears throat> Rose Petal Angel. Last two, Dancing Fairies. There's a face, there's one, two, three people in this one. So here in the main, up oh, in the main red petal, then down here, and then there's one on the bottom. Interesting, and then the last card is Meeting by the Roses, and I can see one face in that card. So yeah, this is really great. I'm super excited that I went ahead and got it. I even thought about taking it back, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't because I love it. This one has one, two, three, four, five. This one has five faces. I love it. So I'm not going to go through the book or anything like that. If I were to just randomly pick a card, I picked the Sleeping Beauty. So let's try to find her in the book and then see what it says. Um, I don't really know. It says A9 and these, oh, right here, nine yellow. And here it says nine yellow, which you probably can't read. But it says in sleep here, let me hold the card up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. In sleep, we are entering the astral world, a meeting place to our loved ones who have passed on also angels and elemental spirits. Wait, let me read that one more time. In sleep, we are entering the astral world, a meeting place to our loved ones who have passed on also angels and elemental spirits. Many people have experienced astral projection during our sleep state. The astral is the first word we enter into when we have an out-of-body experience. Suggestions. There are books on techniques of astral projection. Write down your dreams. That makes sense. Affirmation. It takes but a few steps to enter a new world. Elements for this card are air and fire. I like the affirmation a lot. It takes but a few steps to enter a new world. That is so true, right? You have to be willing to take the steps, right? See things from a new perspective. I love it. And there's two faces in here too. I didn't even notice that. Down towards the bottom of her little dress, there's a face. Yeah, I'm digging this. I'm I'm stoked about it. This was published by Star Visionary Publishing. Um, yep, 2009. Can you see that? Working with the Four Elements by Oracle Cards by Colin Hall. So they're pretty amazing. But anyway, there you go. I'm super happy. Plus, it's a mini deck, which I'm all about that. The card stuck's thin, you know, it's pretty thin. You could overhand pretty easily. Uh, riffling was kind of sketchy. The cards, I could feel them try to bend a little bit. They're a little sticky, so maybe some card powder. But, you know, they're definitely workable. You just got to break them in. Get your hand, get your oils from your skin on them, you know. But yeah, I'm digging it. So if you have this deck, let me know in the comments below how you use it. I would be super curious. Um, I'm probably going to use this to help me, like I said, do my color workings, uh, help me, inspire me a little bit in my art, um, and just go from there and kind of see what manifests and see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed this deck. 
I haven't seen it on YouTube before. And, you know, let me know what y'all think. And I hope you have a really great day.